intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Hello. Welcome to a quick video. I picked up some coins at a local auction. Um, and I picked them up today and I figured I'd just open them up, go through them, see what I got and, uh, see if I, uh, had a good deal or not. I think I about broke even on the silver. If not, got it for a little bit of a deal here. So let me, uh, let's crack into this and see what we got. Okay. So in this bag, this was one lot. I bid on a bunch of different things, but this is the only ones I won. This would be 19 um, silver quarters, 1960 through 64, I believe. Um, it may just be a few of those dates. And these are little sets or little partial sets for um, some dates here. So let's take a look. Um, I'll set these to the side. Let's just zoom in and go through these quarters real quick. So these, I uh, will be checking all these for my guinea airs varieties and stuff. Um, 61 out of Denver. I know these are 60s, 61s, and 62s, but there might be a couple other 60 states in here. 1960, that one is circulated. This one does look a bit more in circulated. 60 out of Denver. This one has a nice little tone to it. That has a little circulation on it. 61 out of Denver. And I will be checking these against the quarter album, 62, really, um, that I am working on for the shorts, 1962, really, 1961, I'm just going to go through these really quick, and I'm going to check for type B reverses and stuff here in, uh, uh, after we go through these, 1960 out of Philly, um, Another 1960. This one is in a little bit of better shape there. Uh, 1960. Out of Denver. 1961. Out of Denver. I got my stacks all backwards here. They're all out of order. 1961 out of Denver. Another 1961. This one's not bad. That one looks in pretty good shape there. Another one that looks pretty decent. It's on the reverse. The reverse is a little circulated. 1961 out of Denver. But these are silver, so. Um, 1961 out of Denver. So that was the main point of getting these for silver at a price at or around melt value. Um, let's see another 61 Philadelphia um, and I only had the pictures online I've been on these online so I did not um, look at uh, these in hand beforehand so that's why I was hoping to get these for a silver price a good silver price 1960 out of Denver all right so that was 19 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 of those. All right, let's look at these little uh, mint set containers. Um, these are not 100% accurate. They are missing some, and this is a 62. 63 dime, it looks like. And these 1964 Kennedy. Um, but these do look in pretty decent shape. I like the little tone on this one. That's 64. Here's another 64. And all these are 64s. So, camera. So, die, uh, Half and quarter there. 1964 nickel and 1964 penny. 
check that for the double die reverse. Uh, 1963 Benji with some nice tone on it. Good details. I don't know if I have a better one. There's 1963 dime with some nice tone on it. Yeah, that one is a Denver. They're both Denver's. So yeah, I don't. I think I might have a better 1963. And then we've got a 1943 Walking Liberty. That one is a little circulated. Um, that one's probably about XF. Well. Yeah, maybe about fine attic stuff. It does have some surface stuff on it, but we got a 62 nickel, a 63 quarter, and a 63 dime. But these are all silver, so um, I was trying to get them for about silver value. That is a Denver, 1962 Denver nickel. And then in 63, this, these all look like they're 63, 1963 Denver. I'll check out for the um, overdate, dime, Benji, and quarter, and a nickel. Let's see. These are all Denver's. So nice. So that's what I got from the auctions. Let me do some calculations, and I'll let you know what I, how, how I did regarding um, silver value and stuff. All right, so I've gone through all the coins here, all of these quarters and the flips here. Um, I didn't find anything, airs, varieties on any of them. Um, a lot of them are, there's uh, some lower mint state into the slightly circulated AU grade level there. So that is interesting. Um, one of them does look like it was uh, soaked in uh, some, some chemicals. I, can't remember which one it was but it sat in chemicals and stuff and so the surface is, is um, eaten up a little bit so that one is a problem coin but otherwise pretty good I do have two of them here that I may be upgrading the quarter album I'm working on in short so do keep your eyes peeled for those showing up so as for these um, no no varieties on these any of these um, they are most of the coins in here are uh, nice in uh, nice mint state examples. Um, this one here has a variety on the nickel, which you can't see with the thing closed. Down here at the bottom, there's a little bit of a rim clip here, and this might be a very very shallow rim clip here um, because the Blakesley effect should be right through here. So this is a small rim clip. And maybe an even smaller one there. Um, or that could just be where the Blake, Blakesley effect ended up. And you can see it more so on the reverse, so you can really see it. I haven't taken it out of the um, cardboard here to tell, but there is the rim clip there. And maybe that is just the Blakesley effect over here that I'm seeing. Um, I would think it would be more here, but um, like I said, I haven't taken it out to verify that. So that is a pretty cool find nonetheless a bonus coin bonus find in here so counting all the silvers um i got these for about 22 times face value um so that is uh that was pretty good when i was bidding silver was going for around 24 times face value on average um silver's come down a little bit so i think it's around 23 times face today um based on uh uh, prices and stuff so but I'm still um, I'm still under where uh, silver is currently although not as much as it was when I was bidding on these and the silver goes back up awesome um, and then all of these here except for the walking Liberty is definitely in some nice pent state condition a lot of these coins here are are fairly nice um, lower mint state um, or high uh, I about uncirculated AU. Um, the Walking Liberty is probably around a very fine uh, grade level there. And then we did have the bonus rim clip coin here. So that is pretty cool. Uh, fine nonetheless. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Five extra, extra coins in really nice shape as well. So I think I did pretty good on the purchase here. 
Uh, okay, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. It helps me out. And drop that comment and let me know if this was a good purchase or not. A good pickup. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.